What's poppin' is your boy days. Mike Powers. If you are enjoying the content from this channel, please hit the like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing to this channel because we don't do nothing but drop heat. Make sure you hit that post notification so you know every single time I go live or drop a video. But now we on to the real shit for my real hip hop heads only. It's been a long time coming. The man you see on the left side of your screen, the indomitable, Jay Nice, one half of Bamobiari with left lane did on and a pillar standing tall on the foundation of Supreme Dump lineage. His voice carries the authority of a federal subpoena and his rhymes attack from multiple angles simultaneously with ninja-like execution. This master of the genre has crafted enough lyrical brilliance to be acknowledged by your favorite rapper, but truth be told, while they feign unfamiliarity with the God, these so-called MCs are actually quite afraid to go bar for bar with my next guest. For the first time on the Mike Power Show, hailing directly from the 302, the man they call Flair Jordan, a.k.a. Duke Fly Talker, a.k.a. Nice Supreme. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome the incomparable Jay Nice to the show. What's going on, family? You already I feel like I'm about to pop my head off, man, with that intro, man. <laughs> you know I mean? All I need now is for the bell to ring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Touch gloves, let's on. get at it. Know what I mean? Hey, man, it's an honor to have you on the platform. As you already know, uh, I got with your brother, Left Lane, did on early on. He was my first interview. I will forever be grateful. And what that kind of opened up for me was this whole dump thing that y'all got going on. Of course, I got introduced to your voice, All Hell YT, uh, Chris Skills, uh, Stack Skrills. Who am I missing? The guy hey. for him. Oh, yeah, the guy for he, oh, listen, and so I've been hooked for a very long time. You was on my list mad early, and so for me to have you on the other side of this screen right now, it's a complete honor. I want to thank you for, for uh, allowing us to have this conversation today. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, thank you for having me, brother. Thank yes, you sir. for having me. So let's get, like, right into it. Um, the new album is called Fly Art, okay? Um, yes, sir. It's with your, it's with your cousin, Rush. That's a certified classic. Let me just do something real quick so we understand what the fuck is really going on. I'm going to say this again. Fly Art. I listened to it four times. It is a certified classic. No skips on the joint. So that's number one. What was going through your mind when you was putting that together? Uh, well, you know, um, I always do a lot of collabs, man. You know what I'm saying? If you peek into my catalog, man, I got albums with, you know, I do duo albums a lot. You know what I'm saying? Fahim, Lefty, Stack, you know what I'm saying? You know, a couple others. Um, but the first real duo I had, you know what I'm saying, rapping along somebody was with my cousin Rush. You know what I mean? He the one that pretty much, like, you know, gave me the flavor. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had me listening to Cannabis, Fabulous. You know what I mean? Jada, Cam, you know what I'm saying? When I was like nine, ten years old. You know what I'm saying? He a little, he a couple years older than me. He my older cousin. And, um, you know, he's a luxurious guy, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a fly dude. You know what I mean? He come through Big Cuban. You know what I'm saying? He come through Javanshi. You know what I'm saying? He come through, you know, with the drip. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when me and him get together, man, you know, that's when Duke Fly Talker come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and we just... You know, we just wanted to come through with a short, you know, just a fly project, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, you know, the the beats were by my, my boy Jay Levison. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, you know, um, I usually rap on his 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 more harder things, you know, his harder beats, but you know what I'm saying, you know, um I just put together a pack I had, man. Actually, matter of fact, let me let me keep it all the way a bill. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cousin Russ. So this is what happened. So he had chose some beats that I had gave him from Jay Levison. 
he put the project together. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already had his verses. So, you know, I came in, did my part. You know what I'm saying? Once I heard it, I was like, yo, this is crazy. These beats you pick, like, I wasn't even to pick these right, right now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, after that, man, we just gripped up the big dogs, man. And, you know, we just took niggas on a luxurious ride, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was you know? actually... Um, I I hope this don't come off as an insult, but I was honestly shocked at how good the project was. Not that I already know how you come, but I think you 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 dropped it on IG in terms of letting people know, I believe is where I found out. And I went and immediately clicked it. I said, what? Okay, let me see what this is. I clicked it. I wasn't planning on listening to it right then and there. I'd be busy as fuck. You know what I mean? And I got a whole list of albums I haven't listened to yet. I wasn't going to mm -hmm. listen to it. And, um, I said, fuck it, let me, let me click this. Because, you know, y'all, you, you and Lefty, y'all cats excite me. So I said, okay, let me click. Boom. First song. Like, what? Second song. What? <laughs> like, I'm talking about the lyrics. I'm talking about the beats. I'm talking about yeah. the whole execution of it. I was like, yo. And I keep, as I keep going, I'm like, yeah, okay. We looking at a classic. Here's the funny thing about it. Because I was going to do a, a review of it. And I'm going to do the review right here in this interview. which is going to be real quick. This Fire. album... It feels like uh, how long is the album? 25, 30 minutes? Is it even? 30? Yeah, like yeah, like twenty eight minutes. It feels like an hour and a half in a good way. Word, word in a word. good way. It, I mean, it's like it's, it's, it's like it, it's a happy meal size, but it's a six course meal. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then by the time I got to the end of that album, I was like, this shit was only thirty minutes. I feel like I had a whole experience with y'all. Gotta go listen to. You. Trust me when I tell you, go listen to this album right now. Not right now. After you finish watching this interview, go check that out. So you did it with your cousin Rush. I never heard of him before. And I hear this guy's voice. And you know, I've, after, since then, I've been chopping it up with him a little bit on IG. Solid dude, incredible lyricist, great voice, aesthetic, you know what I mean? Swag, all that. Like, dude, it's crazy. And I'm about to do my research on him. Um, I'm gonna go deep on him because I, you say he older than you. This dude been rapping- my older cousin. People don't even know about this guy yet. We about to, we about to change that. Um, oh yeah, that's about the yeah. That that's that's all over with. You know what I'm saying? That's all over. It. He was he, he he fell back for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know you know real life is real life, man. You know what I'm saying? He had to handle business. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know me as his younger younger cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like you know I I already kind of like you know me and Lefty been grinding for like four years straight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all he had to do was just come through and you know put his touch on it. You know what I'm saying? You know and um yeah man he older man but you know he, I, I look up to him as far as like that rap shit is concerned man he the one who gave me my first you know my first swag for real like learning how to connect the bars and you know rhyme multi syllables and say the fly punch lines the metaphors the schemes he the one that you know I watched him do it you know he was recording he'd been recording forever like since I was like like 12 years old he the one who first put me in a booth and I'm glad you, know, you said so. that because you, you went through the master class, as it were. And this is something I'll be trying to talk to people about. Sometimes people will submit me music and, you know, they got the skills, but they're not putting it all together quite properly. One thing that I appreciate about what y'all do, so, you know, especially you and Lefty and, you know, everybody in that crew, but you and Lefty especially, is you deliver on the punchlines. You deliver like that when that four hit you giving me something that's making me go god damn and i want to hear what the mm -hmm. next line is some people they just mm -hmm. come for short. it ain't enough just to rhyme the words together man um yeah I, I, let me get to this next question um you have rock marcy on there willie the kid as the only exclusive features on there one or both of them appear on every cut i believe except for one uh what was the idea about having those two as the only features Man, just, you know, man, just, just, just heavyweight shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we've been, we've been tearing up the underground for a minute, man. You know, sometimes, you know, not even sometimes, man, you know, I just like, you know, we had to step up. You know what I'm saying? We had to, you know what I mean? We had to let motherfuckers know, you know, we not no lightweights, we not no middleweights, we heavyweights. And plus those are two of the, you know, flyest niggas, you know, big heavyweights in my lane. You know what I'm saying? You know, Willie been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've been listening to Willie since I was in high school, man. You know, he used to fuck with drama. Bro, still fuck with drama real heavy. He was damn near on every gangster grill. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, um, I rediscovered him through a project he did with Alchemist called Masterpiece Theater. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's a classic. You know what I'm saying? And it's like some of the flyest shit I ever heard. You know, and... um. Actually, it's it's funny, 
You know what I'm saying? Because um, my first project I dropped called The Nice Take. You know what I'm saying? I was rapping on Alchemist, Rock Marcy, and um, I rapped on the instrumental. Me and Rush and my brother, Kooji Young, we rapped on a beat called um, like Medusa 74 or something, and it had Rock Marcy, Willie the Kid, and Action Bronson on it, mm. right? So we rapped on that instrumental. So for it to come full circle, and me and my cuz, you know what I mean, doing the album with them actually, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a testament to just, you know, willing yourself to do this shit, man. And Rock, you know, self-explained, man. I fuck with Rock, man. He, he you know, he, he's, you know, he's like the godfather of this shit, man. He the one that, you know, I looked up to and was like, yo, I can do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can really, there's a lane for this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, you know, down to the wordplay, to how, how he, how he rap, you know, like the, 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 the beats he rap on, you know, the, the drumless loops, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Niggas always, you know, I, I'm I'm going for mine. And me and Lefty, you know, Stack Skrilla, our whole we we going for it. You know what I'm saying? Like we we not playing around. We not. It's not no hobby. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, we trying to, you know, we trying to put on for this for this new decade. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We about to really, you know, break through in this game. So you know, just more elevation. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. it I was know necessary. R R Rush verse on um, guys and Javinci. Disgusting. It's so it's so sick, man. Like I had to listen to that motherfucker like three times in a row. Like, what is? I'm like, who is this dude, man? Um, I love the the fly concept when you talk about the fly art, uh, because the shit feels lavish once you get into this mm -hmm. album. It feels very lavish. Um, yeah. Jay Levison did the whole album. It was 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 Jay integral to pulling off the concept? Did you look at him as as the linchpin? Uh, to pull it off because of those lush grooves? Is that something that y'all was looking for when you was putting this project together? We, you know, um, yeah, like, we, we, you know, we dropped the album last year, damn near to the day on my birthday, you know, and we had Jay Levison's on there, and it was very grand, very lavish, you know, beats. And Jay Levison, you know, he 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 has different attack points. You know, he can go hard like you heard on streets of rage mm. or he can go you know lavish like like you know like you might hear on the lefty project like the shoulders those are all jay levison's he he got two sides to him he got that duality of you know like the great soul samples you know what i'm saying like your stacy ladder you know what i'm saying and then you know he got the hard shit like my bear on strictly for my dumpers you know what i'm saying like you know he just we just knew he had, you know, that, that lavishness, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Rush had tucked it away, you know, put it together and, you know, it called the rap, you know, that flashing on there, you know hey, what I mean? Shout out to Jay know? Levinson, man, just cause Yeah, I, shout out to Jay Levinson, man, that's my boy. Jay Levinson, I love your music. And when I was back making beats back in the day, I, I wish my beats could have, that's what I would have wanted my beats to sound like. Jay Levinson shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 his shit is, his shit is magical, man. Fahim put me on to him, you know what I mean? Yeah, me and Fahim had a studio session, and he was like, "Yo, this nigga right here, he's my favorite producer right now." He said his mm. name was Jay Levison. I liked how his shit was stylized, how he yeah. spelled it. Know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into that fly, different shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, he's so, dope. You know? He's so dope. Yeah, I, I like the yeah. dichotomy in your music because it shows that we as people are are complicated. You got some um, night knowledge based conscious rhymes but you spit the fly shit too uh when did you get comfortable enough as an mc to step out confidently in both of those different realms oh man pretty much since i first started writing man you know what i'm saying like i've been you know i'm a little older you know what i'm saying like you know i'm young but I'm, I'm i'm old enough to you know you know write bars to come home with me you know what i'm saying and you know, I've been listening to music, like specifically hip hop, since I was like eight years old. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I just, the, the confidence came from, you know, once again, like having an older cousin who was nice. Like, Russ always been dead nice. Hmm. For real, for real. He yeah. always been dead nice. He really was like, huh? He was playing, he's taking it easy on niggas. Cause like, he know that a lot of niggas don't know what's going on right now because he ain't been active. Yeah. When this man, y'all niggas gonna see. He he gets to, he he he's nice. He dead nice. So it helped me, you know, just had a confidence to just kind of like you know see that and make my own twist to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 
I'm a nigga that, you know, I, I, I love culture, man. I'm a man of culture and I love, you know, I just love different shit so I can reference pretty much anything. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and I know that you, the passing on um, knowledge is a, is a big part of your music. It's just some I never know what. Sometimes I can a little bit tell about our artwork. Sometimes I look at the artwork on this yeah. album and I can say, "Oh, I, I see what bag you about to be in right here." Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, when yeah. I see the, the I see the animation shit, or I see the cartoon shit, I'm like, "Okay, here yeah, we go. yeah, 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 yeah." Like you know, um, shout shout out to Frico Rico, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he did the album cover. He did our album cover. Last time, you know what I'm saying? He's a legendary Atlanta artist, you know what I'm saying? You know, paint big ass murals on the buildings. Like he did a lot of Action Bronson's work. You know what I'm saying? He he's a guy. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a he, you know, he's a heavyweight in his own right. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I just I'm into that, man. You know, my, my great grand I mean my grandfather was a was a, a, a famous artist. You mm. know what I'm saying? You know, his name is Greg Ridley. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I grew up in this art shit. You know what I mean? I just learned how to just you know, mix mix the 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 music and the culture and everything together. Like I'm, I just I'm a student in that. Yeah, you know I, mean? I can see that. So, and um, when did you start to develop that golden voice, dog? <laughs> yo, be honest, bro. Like I used to hate my voice, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I used to hate my shit. I always really? thought my shit sounded mad ashy. Like it just sounded like <laughs> I don't know. And then see, Russ always had he always had that sharp voice. Mm. And my 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 other man's money mag, you know what I'm saying? Uh he had a, a real aggressive like voice that was kind of like it cut through like how Meek Mill shit do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then my shit was kind of like I always sounded like a heavy, a heavier ashy nigga back in the day. That's <laughs> how I thought. So you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at these two niggas like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't until Honestly, like probably around the time I dropped like the nice take. Matter of fact, no, me and my man Mag, rest in peace, Money Mag, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, we dropped a project um called Ready Rock, you know what I'm saying? And that's when I started really fucking with my voice. Like, but it was it was the mixing. Niggas used to mix my shit wrong. Even now, if a nigga mix my shit wrong, it's gonna sound a little, you know, it's gonna sound a little whatever. But, you know, my pops, man, he got a crazy reverb in his voice, man. So it's really that nigga. So you wasn't pulling like um older women when you was like nine years old with that voice? Nah, not nine, but like, you know what I mean? Like 15, yeah. 14, you know what I'm saying? When my shit got deep, you know what I mean? I was definitely, you know, on the party line, you know what I'm saying, with my niggas, you know what I mean, hollering at the older chicks and all that. The voice is amazing. It's something very um smooth but also authoritative about it. You know what I mean? I think I said to somebody, "Is yeah, your voice?" I might have put this on a show one time. I said it, it sounded like the voice of like your father scolding you. Like that's how. Ah, <laughs> that's what. You, like, scolding it's a, these niggas. Yeah, it's scolding authority. Niggas, it's authority niggas, behind man. the voice. I love it. Um. Oh yeah, on the album Loud Get Pack, uh, Loud Pack from Paris. That's the mm -hmm. album. Um, mm -hmm. you got Fredro Fredro Star on there. From from Onyx. If y'all don't know, yeah, yeah. Oh, Onyx. Y'all younger people that's watching this right now, go look up Onyx. Throw your guns. Go look up Onyx. The album is called Back crazy? the Fuck Up. You know, some people don't know, right? Ain't like, that crazy? Uh, how did that? Niggas how the fuck old, did you Fredro? Yo, that's my old man. That's my OG man. Like we we cool in real life, man. That that's he the one that kind of broke me into this rap shit too. Like on a on you know on a on a, on a legendary scale. You know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with Fredro since 2017. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a part of his group called 100 Mad. He got a collective of niggas, MCs called uh, 100 Mad. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we really tight like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he took me on tour. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, you know, I done rocked a couple shows with him. You know, Lefty done came there yeah, with Lefty me. Yeah, you know Lefty told saying? me about that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, he been fucking with me, man, for a minute, dog. You know, um, before I even met the man, he put me on the Alchemist track. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he put me with Alchemist. It was a song with Alchemist, or or Alchemist made the beat. Khan was on there, Conway the Machine. You know mm. what I mean? And uh, my homie Make Him Pay, who's also a part of Hunter Mad. You know what I'm saying? So that's all before even meeting me. Nigga was saying my name on Vlad TV. Like, he was, he, he's a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's my OG, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we call talking, we just call and check on each other and all that shit, man. That's, that's my man. Hey man, he, we still got a lot spazzed, going on too. He spazzed out on that cut too. Fredro yeah, still got yo, it. He still yeah. got it, y'all. Yeah, yeah. He nice, man. I mean, I just sent him the record. 
know what I'm saying? He had it back to me in like a week, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like he he he's one of those solid dudes in the industry, man, that always just kept it real, man. No funny money shit. Like, you know, he he just he just on the on the strength just rocked with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so Shout yeah, to Fred Joe. Y'all Fredro. niggas almost got Onyx almost got me killed, niggas. You know what I mean? <laughs> Quite a few <laughs> times. I believe hey, because yo. you in the club, you listen to throw your guns. Yeah. Whoever you got beef with that night, whoever you don't like a little bit that night, you know what I mean? If you within yeah. eye shot of them dudes, it's like it's it's on the popper when that song come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like you just had to be ready to get busy. And please don't listen, don't listen to it when you're on your way to the club. Because you might not even get in that motherfucker <laughs> stepping out oh, the yeah, window to real. throw your guns in the air. Like My yo houses. That should get you mad fucking hype, man. Um Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, let me ask you a question. Did did six nine steal Onyx's flow? Who? Six nine. Who that? <laughs> nah, I'm bullshit. Uh, <laughs> man, nah. I mean, it, it, yo, you know what's funny? Like, I ain't gonna say he stole it. It's just, it's just similar, man. It, it, it's, it's wackly similar. Whack, right? That's it's it. no lyrics. It's no lyrics. It's wackly similar. You know what I'm right. saying? So you know. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, you know. Here's what's crazy about the 6ix9ine thing, because I brought this shit up. It's the, it's the screamy aggressive thing, right? And so mm -hmm. we know Onyx is really aggressive. Like, that's right. That's what, that's what Onyx really do, like, for real. This dude, like, you see him on the other side of this court case, and it's like, he all be back to being soft again. He back to being, I'm, I'm a Mr. Nice guy. But then you, you, you still go on that screamy aggressive shit, like, nigga, we don't believe you. Some of these kids do. Um... But I, I, I mean, think that, that problem is going to uh, fix itself. But I, I wanted to ask you that since you work with Fredro, and I always thought that when I listened to this dude's voice, it's like, did you just try to steal Onyx's style? You and Lefty, y'all got a close relationship, and y'all make magic together. Talk, talk to me about the genesis of that relationship with Left Lane did on. Oh, man. Where do I begin, man? You know what I mean? First of all, man, peace and love to my, you know what I mean, my twin, Left Lane did on, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, man, yo, me and Lefty, man, we we um we from the same neighborhood, man. You know what I'm saying? We from East Side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um we always knew of each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he ran with a crew called Stay City, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, which included like YT, Chris mm -hmm. Skills, some niggas you might have heard of, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A couple other niggas, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, they was like, you know, for me and my crew, they was like some they was really making moves in the city, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, outside our city, you know what I'm saying, because we from Delaware, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, they was they was shooting videos, you know what I'm saying, they was doing shows, you know, they, they had they had her love, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, then when me and my team was coming up, like, my man Money Mag, my brother Murph, my brother Coogee Young, you know what I'm saying, Mills, you know, 40, you know, we came up kind of the same way and was kind of popular around our way with making music and putting on for East Side. You know what I'm saying? You know, getting DJ brand tapes. You know, he he Meek Mill DJ now. You know what I'm saying? But back then, he was a popular DJ in our city. We got him. Did like a Gangsta Grills type of, mm -hmm. you know, you know, take. That shit went crazy. We was just, you know, getting played in the city. You know, we, we was known. So me and Lefty kind of had that in common already. And we already had kind of like had mutual respect whether through text or, you know I mean, his man Nish or whatever, you know what I mean? So, you know, we just, we just linked one day, man, you know, on some, um, on some regular neighborhood shit and we just started building, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we very similar, you know what I'm saying? We have very similar outlooks on shit, especially like music, you know what I'm saying? H how this shit is, you know what I mean? We just kind of like the same person, like when it comes to like culture and all that type you of shit. You balance each other out on, on, I wonder, do y'all feel that? I'm a, and I got you here, so I'll ask you, do you feel that yin yang counterbalance where it's like, you listen to Lefty, and this is my personal experience, love listening to his voice, love hearing him rhyme, he's done, then boom, then you show up, it's a whole different type of flavor that's going on there, but it's welcome, right? Um, it's it's almost and I and, and I don't want to compare you to Big Noy, but I kind of it's like the thing when Big Noy comes on the Mob Deep track, is just that different mm -hmm. sound. Do you all recognize how how magical that is? Do you all understand the the aesthetic oh, yeah. and the back and forth between the two of y'all? How that comes across on on sonically on the tracks? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I, um, 
we're very aware of the uh, of the synergy we had. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do a lot of collaborations together. I mean, that's why he's on damn near all of my albums. You know what I'm saying? I'm on all of his albums. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's just one joint. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we treat it like any other great duo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, um, we just be together all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, in these three, four years, you know what I'm saying, me and that nigga done been more together than not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, days of the year. You know what I'm saying? We didn't we didn't we didn't put in work. You know what I'm saying? And we know that, you know, we're we're one of the strongest two man teams out right now, just in underground hip hop period. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. So, you know, we just carry this such, man. It's kinda easy for us. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if not the best. Quite honestly, yeah, facts. We are. I mean, the best. I mean let's, let's right. keep it. We let's keep it a hundred. Nah, if you, look, if you go best. through the, if you go through the fucking better, catalog, we're better than y'all. We're yeah, better than all of y'all. Yeah, but um, you know, um, yeah. So you know, we just, you know, we, you know, we thorough, man. You know, he he, he already had been a right. He, he he's already, you know, seasoned in this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and so was I. You know what I'm saying? So you know, us getting together, man, it just really kind of brought together our, you know, our um, our different parties, and now. You know, shit working, man. You and there's somebody I mean? think I'm speaking hyperbole about what I'm saying about um, the stature of a mobiliari. I I can hardly ever pronounce that word. Lefty, a mobiliari. A mobiliari. There we go. If y'all doubt the sincerity of what the hell I'm talking about, then who y'all got then? Who the fuck do you got? Have y'all, have y'all heard the catalog? Y'all don't got nobody that can fuck with these. Y'all don't want to see Duke Fly talker. Come on, man. Y'all don't want to see Lefty. Y'all really don't. Uh, the, nah, do, you, I don't. do you think the internet? Uh, try, though. Say it again. No, nah, I was, I was, I'm talking, I'm talking to whoever looking. You can try though. You know what I yeah. mean? You can <laughs> give it a shot. Yeah. You can give it a shot. I talk shit, man. Yeah, ain't nothing. I know. Hey, if motherfuckers ain't familiar with your catalog, then they they will soon understand that you a very cocky motherfucker. But good, with good reason. With good, all humble, he no. back all, it up. All, I'm all humble. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. I'm just, you know. I feel Smoking you. Jatic, I feel man, you. having a good time. You know yeah, I mean? but when you listen to those tracks, whoo, cocky. Yeah. Um, do you think the internet has even the playing field for you as an artist from Delaware, or is there uh, other shit behind the scenes that still got got y'all in a uh, in a weird spot because of where you're from? Nah, man. Um, I always always believed in the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, I- I've seen it too many times. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to ASAP Yams. You know what I'm saying? I I I I watched him build Rocky up through the internet. You know what I'm saying? I watched Chief Keith blow up through the internet. I watched Cray Sean blow through the internet. I I watched I watched too many niggas. You know what I mean? And me and Lefty, we we watch people get into the game so much. We just knew it was our when it was our time to step into the line. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You either step in the line or you get out of there. But um, right. yeah, the internet, man, it definitely, you know, levels it. Cause you know, Delaware, we have a hip hop scene, you know what I'm saying? But you know, um, it's just about getting it, getting it past, like getting it even, like recognizing the region, man. You know, niggas be trying to front on Delaware. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we don't, like we don't have a lot of gifted musicians here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and it's crazy, but you know what it is though? It, it's cool. We just we here to to turn that around. Cause it's I a got lot three. of people that's yeah. Huh? I'm I'm mean to cut you. A Zoom does that, so that's my apology. Um, now you go. Y'all got three counties. And um, I think y'all got a million people that live in Delaware, I think. Y'all don't have y'all own TV stations set in Delaware, right? Y'all watching Philly TV? Y'all watching Maryland uh-huh. TV? Is that is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We be getting the Philly shit. Okay. I think it's a Delaware joint. I don't know. I don't be paying attention to shit like that, bro. Yeah. When I, when, I, when I go to, like, Channel 3 and 4, yeah, it'd be, like, Philly news. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a little bit of Delaware news, too, but, you know. Yeah, Shout man, we, we, Philly a small, nigga. we a small state. Shout out to my Philly. My nigga, Nikki Scarfo, who be in the comment section, I think he from Philly. So shout out to my Philly niggas. Um, shout out to Philly. Yeah, the, so the album Dump Life, I think it's a, it's a special project. If y'all haven't heard it, go Woo! listen to Dump man, Life. We've been fucking niggas up this year, man. Man, what <laughs> the fuck? That, like, the album is so special. Like, what the fuck happened? Talk to me about the creation of that album, Dump Life. That is another classic. Yeah, man, it is, man. Uh, Dump Life came about when, uh, you know, Fahim and came down. You know what I mean? Uh, we had met him at the Mock Hami um, private event. And then we had took Fahim back down to Delaware. You know what I mean? And we just, you know, just, just 
hooked up the mic, started dumping. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, was adding on to it. And, you know, we sat on it for a little bit. And then we felt like the time was right to release it. You know what I'm saying? Earlier this year, shit went dummy. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, it's funny because the bars me and Lefty was writing, they was very relevant to what the fuck was going on or what was about to go on. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because like shortly after Dump Life dropped, you know, America started falling. You know what I mean? You know, George Floyd shit. You know what I mean? You know, the the protests. You know, it was just a lot of civil unrest. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, when we look back and listen to it, like, yeah, as, as a whole put together, it's like, oh, shit. Like, settled like, dust. I'm, settled dust. Right. Right. Like, and I, I almost gotta, posted I gotta, that. I, gotta, I almost posted that yesterday on my IG. I, I, I might have cried um, the first time I heard that song. I'm not afraid to admit it. Um but I was listening to the whole Dump Life album, and I remember I was in the kitchen doing stuff, cooking, straightening up some shit, and I just had the Dump Life thing playing. And that song came on. And with the way y'all talk about that, it's a very um, nurturing song. It's, it's, it sounds like y'all trying to talk to the young people out there. Um, but it's also, it's also very grown man shit. And then the video, which I, y'all didn't put that video together, right? Somebody else did? Nah, nah, that was just some fan shit. Yeah, but which would and he did a great job with the ghost dog, um, Forrest Whitaker. That was a that was a nice little video they put together. But the song is just is so deep, and that, but the whole album, um, I, I don't think there's no skips on that joint. When people talk about uh, album of the year, I just think you know somebody I, y'all been overlooked in this conversation quite a few times. So uh, I just think because maybe there's not a major label or something like that pushing it, whatever. Dump Life arguably could be called album of the year, but y'all got to go listen to that and you can tell mm. me what you think. Um, but it is classic. Uh, one of one of the songs on one of your songs, you said, uh, I used to trap across from Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, talk to me about what it was like for you on the ground hustling in Delaware. Uh, take me behind the scenes of what it's like on the streets. Um, because I think a lot of people think of Delaware, they don't know much about it, or they just know that maybe Joe Biden is from there. I mean, yo, it's it's a melting pot, man. You got your good and bad parts, you know what I'm saying, over the years. You know what I'm saying? Particularly on my side, man, it's gotten a little, you know, it's gotten a little worse, man. You know what I mean? It's more shootings. You know what I mean? You know, bullshit, man. Shit that we got to repair, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, that's why we, uh, you know, that's why we rap the shit we rap now. You know what I'm saying? We're we trying to change the youth for the better, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course, there's going to be some imagery in there. But at the same time, it's always going to be a jewel in there. You know what I'm saying? Because more than ever, we need the youth to, you know, unify, smarten up, unlearn mm-hmm. bullshit that they've been taught. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, try to make a difference, man. Because these old niggas who's creating all this havoc that's in power, you know, they, they go on you know, they're going to die out soon. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you know, it's really up to us to put it in the youth now. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because they're smart. Yes. There's a 13-year-old that knows exactly what's going on. It's, it's, it's probably a, a lot of 13-year-olds who know exactly what's going on just as far as a lot of bullshit. They have the internet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah, man, that bar was, you know, that bar, that was actually on Strictly for My Dumpers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. Trapped across from Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, man, on the east side, man. You know, that's... Young nigga shit, you know, you know. You, so you survived it. So what was that? What was that like? The introduction to the to the street life, and what was it like on the ground with you being being a hustler? I mean, you know, I, I always wanted to make money, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it really didn't matter how the grind came. You know what I'm saying? But I've always been smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been a smart nigga. So I'm not. I, I never was even really dealing with too many niggas. I mean, besides my people, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, so I always knew how to make money, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that shit, you know, too much bullshit come with that, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, I had chilled out, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, when it was looking like it was nowhere else to turn, man, I had joined the Air Force, man. My uncle, he in the Air Force, he was like, yo, you should join the Air Force, man. It's bitties there. Mm. You can get money. You know what I'm saying? You have you a nice job. Do good. Do four years. And you know what I mean, you know, and, and you go to school for free after that. They pay you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It sounded good to me because, you know, I was 19 and just headed down the wrong direction. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, th- I was too smart for my own good. You know what I'm saying? I could still feel that gut feeling that I was going, something was going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah. You know, went to the Air Force and you know what I'm saying, you know, fucked that up really bad. You know what I'm saying? Was in that motherfucker for about six months, including boot camp, kicked out, you know, going harder than I was, for, you know, back home. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because now I'm in a whole nother place. Mm -hmm. I'm not in Delaware, small Delaware, where, you know what I mean? Shit happened, but now I'm in the city. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I've made, you know, Growing up black man, you know what I'm saying, young black man, especially like one that like got some sort of knowledge, some sort of wits about him, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I made mistakes, man, but you know, the music is the is the is the best thing I've ever done. You know what I'm saying? It's, and the most positive thing. Yeah, motherfuckers hit me up all the time from around the world, like, yo, man, your shit inspirational, bro. Your shit be hitting me in the chest. Yeah. You know, you know, and, and that 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 means something to me, you know what I'm saying? So when we get in a position of power, we we can really make a change, you know what I'm saying, for the communities and really just like, really just tell niggas to just unlearn some of the bullshit that be in your head, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we'll all be better. Did you Niggas need to practice understanding. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. I'm going to say about that. Because I ain't going to get preachy. No, oh, that's cool. I, I love to hear you talk. You know what I mean? Because I think that, especially my platform, we need to show people coming on here having these thoughtful conversations and then I'm going to have on tape that the artist that I fuck with is so much more than just when well, people try to come in my comment section and say, well, this dude talk about shooting and guns and all. And it, no, that's the shit that y'all focused on. Y'all missing everything that this culture is bringing to the table. Y'all missing yeah. the nuance of it. This is what this is right here. This is video fucking evidence. So I'm glad to have you talk, rant, do whatever you want to do. Did you have siblings coming up, brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a brother, man, Kooji Young. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He do music as well. He on a couple of my albums. Yeah. Okay. One right. brother. 